So apparently yesterday, yesterday, around 10 hours ago, as I, as I've uh, watched a YouTube video from eSports e Talk, which, uh, if it can load faster enough, talked about an Omigo video that an esports organization apparently posted also has been shut down because of that and uh, I wanted to I wanted to uh, pay a visit and see what it was and I saw this clip it's 11 seconds long I'm not even sure how that is possible, but we are gonna probably watch this, and uh, you'll see what I mean by all of this, because I really do not know how this happened. I am likely still confused as to why it was, like, leaked, because you know, it was on YouTube and had been leaked by a guy named Snuffy, by the way, or Snuffy BTW, who, uh, Quote in the description that this is a repost of the video that has been servicing about the team limit GG and about their members saying inappropriate things. This is truly disgusting and should be shared so everyone knows about the te this team. And I definitely don't know about this team and why. This guy did a put a repost. I definitely saw that he screen recorded the video. And I'm trying to find the original one to see where it really came from. But I don't know if the original one that he screenshotted, I mean screen recorded, had been uh, deleted. So if I find it by the time I uh, unpause this recording, then I'll let you know. But if not, then I'll move on to a to, to an apology video that was posted by I think it was the owner of the this uh, organization. So yeah, be right back in a sec. Okay, I definitely am seeing a bunch of these. I don't see the original where it says Team Limit Video Reposted. So, one of these has to be the official deleted clip. And uh, we're gonna have to take a look at it further on as to why this, uh, this occurred in a matter of hours. Alright, so I showed you... I'm, I showed you this video, which happened a repost, aka a screen recording of the exact video that I found here. 
team would have been able to be posted, which is the original one that is 12 seconds long. How far from the 11 seconds of this video? The other videos, however, are Now, there's a YouTuber who's been clickbaiting this whole ordeal, but he only posted that one video, which I think is this one, which I think it's the official video of the team limit video being deleted. His name is Bloomsy. And, yeah, after that one video that he probably posted, which I think is the one, he, he decided to clickbait a few people in the past couple of days for views. But that's another video I want to get into another time. Because he posted this, and it's the same video that we all just watched. And, uh, yeah. That's... I'll make a separate YouTube video as to why Bloomsy had to go out of his way and clickbait. This a controversial situation. But other than that... What you're gonna hear is the apology from the owner I think it was I think it is his name is Yaxi and the video is titled the end of team limit I failed everyone I'm sorry so we're gonna take a look at that now what's going on guys I just wanted to, to take a second to address everything that's happened today. If you don't know, I got outvoted in favor of ending limit. I'm really, like, I, I can't even begin to describe the, like, what I'm feeling right now. But I just wanted to take a second to apologize to, to everyone that, that I had the fucking honor of working with. To everyone that... Like, there was nothing more inspiring than to wake up every single fucking day and just have so many people on board with achieving the same goal, you know? Just just every single day is striving to be better than the day before. I just I just want to take a second to apologize to, to every single person that was a part of the team and every single fucking grinder that... That grinded... Like, you guys inspired me so fucking much like i wanted to make sure that this team was the best thing it could possibly fucking be for you guys and i want to make sure i was the best person i could fucking be i wanted to be the best version of myself just just because i don't feel like i deserved any of this and it was a privilege while it lasted i just want to explain our side of the story of what happened so as you may not know someone said something vulgar about uh a young girl who is apparently 13 the person who said it in the video has nothing to do with the team i don't even know who I, no one knows who the fuck he is he's just a friend of the person who made the video and he's 13 as well all i had to do is simply just watch the video by the time i watched it i took the instagram videos down yesterday as soon as i saw the video as soon as like before anyone said anything i took the 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 Instagram video was down and as I was going to take the YouTube video down I was talked out of it and I went against my own morals I went against I, I went against myself because something so fucking stupid and now in a moment I'm about to go to the YouTuber whose video was like clipped because I think he confirmed on his 
last upload from nearly 24 hours ago that he said that he said that he didn't do it. He replied to every comment saying so. So after uh, this apology video or a statement, I'm going to that YouTuber who was uh, featured on other people's channels. So yeah. This is what happens, man. So. Uh, <laughs> Thank you to everyone, and I'm sorry. I just wanted to thank everyone so much for giving me the best couple months of my life. You know, I will never forget the memories that I've made. Everything we were able to accomplish in that short amount of time is a blessing. And thank you guys so much. I'm really, from the bottom of my fucking heart, I'm really fucking sorry. I, I failed you. I truly, I truly feel like I failed everyone. I truly feel like I failed myself. I failed my teammates. I had so many people counting on me. I, I will not, I will not, I will not be fucking quitting. I'm not, I'm not fucking depressed or anything. Like, this is life, you know? You fuck up, you live, you learn. Like, Never once will you hear me say the words I quit. I don't. I know. We, I know we can get past this. Like I know I can get past this. This is not the end of. It's the end of limit, but it's not the end. You know. Whatever happens, I, I have no fucking clue. I don't know what's what's lying ahead. I don't know shit. But I just know that you'll never fucking once hear me say I give up. You'll never hear those words come out of my fucking mouth. And this whole decision was not up to me. I voted, I was the only one who voted to keep the team going. Cause. I'm sorry. I, I can't think of anything else to fucking say, but I'm sorry. I can't think of any fucking thing else. I can't. At the time of recording, of course, people like YouTubers like this are just gonna keep uploading the the deleted video of Team Limit. But I think this one is also a Fortnite video, so I'm not gonna even bother checking that because I don't think this one is long enough. Than like 12 seconds. So, so if you see any uh, team limit, if you see any uh, longer enough team limit deleted videos, just to let you know that won't be the official one. It'll be some stupid Fortnite clip which is a two second clip or something like that so I would ask you to not click on any of these because the only video that you only saw earlier on in this video is a 12 to 11 second clip of the video that had been clipped out click a quick update from this video right now that you're watching. Uh, also, don't go to the uh, official. Don't go to the video that also has Among Us or other gameplay videos because that is clickbait. So please avoid these channels that have longer uh, duration minutes seconds of the video okay so I found a youtuber with 45.3k subscribers named Zoks and uh, the latest video he uploaded just now 
as of 18 hours ago is I met Charlie D'Amelio on Omega. And, well, he's doing well for a content creator with 13k views. The problem is that the video that was essentially uh, re-uploaded, of course, had a lot of people talking. And, uh, before I get into that, though, Limit Roar is the YouTuber who, uh, made a video talking about the team limit situation, and I just want to go to that right now. And, uh, and, you know, share his side, and, you know, uh, show his side of the story. This is just gonna be sort of, like, off the top of my head. None of this is, like, pre-thought out or typed up or whatever. This is just saying it live, no cuts, anything. So if you guys didn't see Fortnite guy made a video, he didn't really go in depth to what happened. And I think that I just need to make a video covering exactly what happened, the full truth and nothing but the truth. So on the day we posted, this was on Tuesdays when we scheduled it, when we got the video. Okay. Zolk sent us the video. We originally had a video for that was going to go up on Saturday, but the editor bailed out on us. We DM Zolk at around 11 p.m. He sent us the video at around 11.30 p.m. And then we posted, we scheduled the video at around 1 p.m. PST. Okay. We did it. We weren't able to look through all of it because, like, we assumed it would be okay simply because it was already on his channel and it was a re upload. Obviously, this isn't professional content, but it was a last minute upload and we thought it'd be okay. We never saw the part where they made the disgusting joke that we in no way agree with or allow or anything. If that member was on the team, he would have been kicked immediately. However, he had no affiliation with Limit whatsoever. So the most we can do is delete the video and apologize for him ever being on our channel. We did post a snippet that did have that person in the video, the girl, but it did not have that part because we didn't see that part. And we only posted the snippet that Zulk sent us, which didn't have that part in it. Another thing that I'd like to address is obviously we fucked up, but we can't be held accountable for what was said. We can only be account held accountable for how us spreading what was said. And I think that's very important to this story. So people spreading like pedo rumors. First off, both people were 13. The problem is he was sexualizing a person and or I guess a minor, even though he was a minor. And we spread that and that's horrible and we take full responsibility for that. However, you can't hold us accountable for him physically saying it. Fortnite guy made a video and didn't really say much about the topic, but I wish that if he did, he would add a little bit more information or at least reach out to us. We did DM him multiple times. He didn't respond just to try to get, I guess, some answers from him because, or to, I guess, explain a few things to him because obviously it looks really bad, you know, and we put six plus hours a day into this team. I'm not going to just let it end over misinformation. You know, all that's happening with Fortnite guy making a video on it is it's getting spread. There will be a video on the team page coming soon, and there will be an official relaunch. Stay tuned, guys. Alright, so this is Zolks right here. And, uh, he re as I said earlier, he recently uploaded this video from called I Met Charlie Gamilio on Omigo, which was 18 hours ago since since this was up uploaded to YouTube and it is kind of crazy uh, that this misinformation stuff is spreading around and uh, I'm glad the person who is probably another another uh, member or owner of Team Limit had to clarify that. I think Soaks is happened to be the editor of Team Limit. I'm not really sure, but
Soaks did respond to it. Like, almost every comment, I think. And he said, I didn't say anything compared to the voices or anything. TGF said it wasn't me who said it to, it was someone who got dragged into my call. And not everybody has has understood the situation because it's been all over the place. But when I first looked at a, a comment from Sulks, and uh, now that I saw the the video confirming the team limit situation, uh, you know. I truly believe that Soaks is not in the wrong here. And it's it's still kind of wrong in a sense that uh Many people would, you know, spread rumors before they actually get the full story. And as Limit Roar said in that video, uh, TFG didn't really explain the whole situation firmly enough. So, this is where we are now. And why Sulks have to come out and save himself. Um, and as a reminder, I think the girl, the little girl was also 13, which was, which was said in Limit Wars video. And he's 13 too, I think. Which was also said in that video. So, I highly doubt that Sulks did was on Team Limit anyway, because I don't think he was. But, even though Soaks is probably not on that organization, that gaming organization. Why would why would the team limit account posted that on social media or on a YouTube channel in the first place? On their YouTube channel in the first place, I mean. Why would they... Why would they, like, do that for some reason? I just don't understand how... This could have gone out of control. But... You know... They're only human and, he and people who are, like... Human make mistakes. If you happen to have a a clip that isn't really checked thoroughly, thoroughly before, you know, you process into you know making it into a montage of sorts, and then. Well, you know.
it's it's just annoying really that every time there is a situation like going on like this people will, will think it is Zolks the guy who's actually in that video who said something pretty stupid or whatever but you know the most important thing for you guys, for some people and what they shouldn't do is to not spread like misinformation and some people in his comments already have spread misinformation So, yeah, that's probably about it. I don't know what else to say. I... I do hope that this situation is a little bit more clear, but if not, uh, well, this is the best I can do to, uh, explain what the situation is all about as to why I am now see seeing a deleted clip which you saw in the video earlier on so yeah hopefully this doesn't happen again and yeah